The power grab that is going on in the government is uh, a little out of control. I've been warning you about this for quite some time. In fact, I've been warning Congress, oh, I don't know, for about 11 months. I told South Carolina uh, Senator Jim DeMint about my growing concerns. Here it is. I think you guys are losing power. I think Congress, I think you guys are going to find yourself in a box if, if, um, if you don't stop the czars and the Fed and the Treasury. Um, the executive branch is going to be all powerful and you guys are, I mean, I, I mean is anybody seeing this, what's happening here, that we're building a, a regal executive branch that answers to no one, really? No, they didn't. Democrat Pat Cadell, former senior advisor to President Carter, and he still wants that on his resume. And it's also... I'm proud of it. <laughs> we'll talk about that sometime. Um, uh, he's a, <laughs> he's a Fox weird. News uh, contributor and, uh, and a good man. Thank you very much, Pat, for being on the program. So, Pat, um, here, I'm, uh, I'm just looking at some of these polls. Um, First of all, would you report? Would you vote for a Republican, the Democrat, or Tea Party candidate in 2010? If uh, if you look at the Tea Party and Republican, you're almost 50 percent of the population that are like, yeah, I'm a Democrat, Republican. No, I don't think so. You have 22 percent that aren't sure. Um, I, I think this spells trouble for all those in power in Washington. Agree or disagree? It does. It does. It absolutely does. These, these results were stunning. The, uh, you had a majority of people, uh, basically, or almost a majority, who favored either the Tea Party option, which is not a party, or were undecided. <laughs> it's just in the name. The Republicans. For the Democrats, the answer is, for the, for the Democrats, the answer is that, you know, the, the Tea Party voters and the Republican voters are combined against them in the 2010 election. And for Republicans, it exposes the fact that nobody is for their brand. They are for, or are very few people, they are for them as a great red default button to stop what they view as some of the machine outrages that you're talking about and you talk about tonight. Look, look, Glenn, the truth of the matter is those numbers underestimate how strong it is. Over half the people, 57 percent, almost 60 percent, say we should get rid of everybody in Congress. And the thing that is stunning to me in a de democracy, a government of, by, and for the people, is that 71 percent of the American people in the Rasmussen poll admit to being angry at the federal government. Half, almost 46 percent, almost half, say they are very angry. Now, among the political class, as Rasmussen classifies them, 6 percent are angry at the federal government. Among ordinary mainstream America, it's 82 percent. Understand what's happening. In all my life, and I've been that. studying public opinion since I was 16 years old, and I've never seen anything, the level of anger, sustained anger, that exists in this country as it does now Pat, uh, against uh, the government in Washington, both parties. I have to tell you, you, you came backstage because you went to my, um, my Christmas show last week, um, and we talked backstage. Uh, You're going to expose everything about me, aren't you? I am. Well, no secrets here. Um, no. And we had a conversation <laughs> afterwards, and, you and, I don't, you and I don't agree on, on much. I mean, we agree on principles, which this is the way America used to be. If you had principles, you can do deals, you can, you can move the country forward as long as you're principled. I have to ask you, and I'm being told we have to go to a commercial break here. Um, when we come back, I want you to answer this question. How do, what does an exit strategy look like here? How do these people survive? How long do we have, especially if they pass, you know, cap and trade or, or health care? How, how do we survive that? Back in just a second. Carter, still on his resume after all these long minutes, and uh, he's a Fox News contributor. Pat, when we left, um, uh, I think they're going to pass health care. I think they're going to do it before the end of the year, quite honestly. Um, they need it. Um, they're going to pass it because they're more in bed with these special uh, interests than they are with the American people. My question to you, you said you've never seen so much anger in all of your political life. How does this end, Pat? Well, let me just say, what's happening to the American people, when you watch the health care, and let's understand what it is, something you pay for now, and you may get the benefits in 2014, but no one tells you this. What's happening with cap and trade, which is gangster politics, basically, putting a gun to the Congress's head, and for the Congress, it's the line from Animal House, have you no respect for yourself? 
The, the question here is the American people understand this. I've never seen a fear that exists that our future is disappearing. And I have a message for the people in Washington, in both parties. The American people are coming, and they're coming for you. Okay, that's scary. Hold on, you got to say it with like a little dog. Yes, and they're coming for you. Isn't that right, Rolf? Yes, yeah, so, so I have to practice Pat, I want to ask you, a, uh, uh, what does that mean? I mean, I, I think people really mm -hmm. feel that their republic is at the end. It's at the brink. Is, is it, at stake. Let me tell you something. Democrats, Republicans, it has nothing to do with Americans feel that the future is slipping away for their children. That they're losing the future. But Pat, that they feel you like know this. They have you act. know this, and I. Of people wanting to do something. You know this, and I know this. There are polls that say that. We've got about 20 seconds. How come they don't see it, or do they not care? Well, they, they don't care. They don't think they have to. They think the American people are sheep that they can run over, and that's the issue that's going to get tested. They have nothing but contempt for the very people they are supposed to represent in the greatest nation on earth. Right. Right back, or Rolf will be coming for you. Thanks, Pat.